Greetings. See? Thanks for tuning in. I lost the clip. Sitting outside, listening to the sound of the birds, their music and melody. But I don't know how to hook up my music out here, so this is not going to work. I have to have my music, my frequency. Now that I'm approaching, you know, the senior moments, I remember seeing older people in the nursing home and other places where they were always so mean and fighting, bitter, you know, scratching, spitting, biting. Because they didn't want to be in that situation. Somebody deciding whether they want to feed you or not, how much they want to feed you, what they want to feed you, if and when they want to clean you. You don't know if they're being mistreated. A lot of times they are. You know, as Christians, we used to visit the nursing home once a year. It's horrible. Bring them some BS they don't need, and that's it. But they go through hell. But yeah, that's why they mean. Tired of people fucking with them. Decided what they want to do. I don't want that for me. I always say that. I want to go in my sleep and all that shit. But we don't know when, where, why, or how. Oh, shit. Put a pillow over my head. And this PM in Canada, he's making it such. This society, they do it. But it's nothing new because Jack Kevorkian did it. If you're finding it bad or, or difficult to pay your bills, you can uh, self-conclude, check out legally. They can do it, but you can't. You know? And I want to talk about this I know you guys seen the commercial on this jig back where if the power go down, you go in the basement and you flip this, you put this grid in and you'll have power. Well, now they selling that. Remember the a generator was the, the thing and they just keep asking for more and more money. You need this, you need that. You gotta have all of this to survive in the apocalypse coming. So now you need this. You know? And people, what are they going to do with $10 a gallon for gas? How are they going to cut their lawn and keep up with the Joneses? But you know what is really beautiful? Uh, I mean, you probably seen lawns like this. Instead of having just plain grass, who said that was to be? what's happening that's the trend in the culture here but i look at african movies and they don't have all that lawn that grass to cut who got gas to waste trying to keep a lawn carpet you got a carpet lawn but have you seen them where they have little dwarf trees in the middle they may have a little pond there with some fish in it and some shrubberies some flowers all of that where the grass is you don't have to cut the grass because you have a little beautiful aquarium looking garden right there. You may go out with a bucket and, you know, your hand sprinkler and just occasionally. But it, it's beautiful. I've seen them. Instead of just all grass. Who said that? That's, who said that's the thing to have, to be? And you have neighbors trying to kill themselves trying to get their lawn to look like yours and the grass on the other side is dirt yeah 
So I'm just shooting the breeze, talking about some things. Um, I guess that's it for now. So, oh yeah, when when you vote. We have a lot of missing children. I saw a news video the other day, and it was this young man called the police, and I don't know why, because when you call the police, there's a chance that you might not make it. But he heard this lady, young girl, screaming out of an abandoned building. She was in there screaming. He, had, he saw him take her in there, and he left. And it was a girl in the abandoned building. So I remember in Detroit, when Dugan uh, left DMC to, to run the city as mayor, uh, he had the hookup, leaving DMC and going right into being a mayor. But he was supposed to tear down all those abandoned buildings. What's the problem? Just find the owners, just do the right thing. What? You don't have to be demo rep. You don't have to be Christian or nothing. Just do what is right. Call the owner and tell them, tell them you have to do something. You have to do something. I mean, there's a limit to how long you want this building to be abandoned. And that could be something too, to vote for. Turn these abandoned buildings into something. You have a lot of homeless people out there, good people, that they could turn these abandoned homes into something. Even if it's just working, you know, for, for a place to stay, I'm sure there's a lot of people that would love to stay in these abandoned homes. But how evil can you be? You just don't want nobody to be in it. And they abandoned. And how many of our young people are in these abandoned buildings as sex slaves and waiting to be turned over to some demon to sodomize them day and night? Some funky, nasty beast on top of them, sweating. Children, runaways, running away and caught. And what are these Android mobiles doing? You can find out where these baby are, where they last stop was, but no one seems to care. Yeah. What are we voting for? I, what are you guys voting for? I don't have nothing to do with voting. I mean, do you too? What is voting going to do? When you vote, those who do, be specific. Give them a list on the local level because nothing is going to happen as far as presidency because they both are the same, different wings of the same dirty bird. But on the local level, perhaps, maybe, I doubt it though, because it's just corruption everywhere, everywhere. Have them to tear down these abandoned buildings or do something with them, with the quickness. Make the policy, write it overnight. Give them a time frame to do it. That's something else too. Give them a time frame if they want your vote, but they don't really want your vote because they're gonna do what they wanna do anyway. If, 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 the, if the mammoth get in there, they're going to have a field day doing what they want to do unless you gave them some money. You have to have your lobbyists to give them a whole lot of money in order for them to do what you need done. So if you don't have no money, no organization, and the Black Caucus, what have they done? Why do voting, you keep them hanging around? What, are they getting paid? The Black Caucus. I saw them on social media. <laughs> they had flooded their page with telling black folks to go get the jab. That's what they get donations and payment for, telling you to take the jab. And now they're finding out that Pfizer is going to release these 330,000 page document so many thousands every month um, revealing 
what's it all about in the shops and they, these jabs and yet they still trying to get people to take it i just don't understand what's going on these divided snakes they're not on the same page even the news channels and different social uh private journalists they're not on the same page they're not catching up so if anything past two days i can't deal with it because you got to catch up because some of them talking about news that happened last week and you get all disturbed because you think that this is still going on check out the date of the time that they talking because they got you going back and forth check out the date some of them just haven't caught up especially if they journalism from overseas they get the information probably late and slow so i'm learning this game because they'll have you going helter skelter because you're trying to keep up with different channels and i also found out before i leave too about this word game in these allegorms I, 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 I'm trying to find out these words. If you say run like the last word and you say before a commercial comes on, you say like I'm running to the store. Well, the, the next, the commercial that comes on after that has running in it. So they're listening to everything you say and they, they gearing the commercials, even though I have it set up so that you don't know where I stay, but that don't mean nothing because they listening. Because I swear my phone be moving, my mobile. It moves, it vibrates, it shocks me too. And I have a 4G, it shocks. I turn it off at night. Most of the time I don't even know where it is. But they're listening, whether you close the, the camera, shut down the mic, they got some kind of way. Like I said, my mobile vibrates and it shocks me and it moves on its own. And I'll be talking and it'll on its own. But I guess you could turn the mic on for surround sounds or the mic to be just for the mobile. So if it's surround sounds, you could be talking. Like I wanna go to the store and Google will pop up and say, what do you want from the store? I'm like, what the hell? I didn't ask you to say something. I don't have no Alexa here. Shit, I turn it off. So you listening? I didn't ask for that. I don't pay for all that shit. But I'm going to end just shooting the breeze. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Peace if you can find it. I'll be in the house next time. I got to have my frequencies. <laughs> I like the way the birds sing, but I need more. But yeah, people, what are we going to do about these abandoned houses? And children are still being married, according to religion. They still getting their clitoris cut off. The young girls taking away their sensation. That's happening right here. It's, it's, they still marrying children over here. There's a lot of shit we don't know about. But peace, if you can find it, thanks for tuning in and listening. I'm going to try to use the clicker to shut it off. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Like, share, leave a comment.